Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O Sacred Feast, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contain all goodness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, you, you gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Sorrowful Mysteries the first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scorching at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O, o Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God, God despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever-glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawak, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant to beseech you that, meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. 
O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Tuesday, Memorial of St. Rose of Lima, Lay Dominican and Virgin. Born in 1586 in Lima, Peru, and baptized as Isabel Flores, she was popularly known as Rosa for her extraordinary beauty. She made a vow of virginity at an early age, and only with great difficulty overcome the objections and misunderstanding of her family to her way of life. At the age of 20, she joined the Third Order of St. Dominic and lived in a hermitage which she had set up in her family's garden. She practiced severe penances for the salvation of sinners and for the missionary efforts of the Church in the Indies. She had a special devotion to Christ in the Eucharist and to Mary. Her desire to teach others the secret of prayer made her a zealous promoter of the Rosary. She died at Lima on, 8, on August 24, 1617, and became the first canonized saint of South America and the Western Hemisphere. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in the life of St. Rose. Come, let us worship God, wonderful, wonderful in, the in the life of St. Rose. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, Come let, let us, us worship us. God, Wonderful, Wonderful in the life of Saint Rose. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hand. Come, let Wonderful. us worship God. Wonderful, Wonderful in, in the, the life of Saint Rose. Come, then let us bow down and worship. Bend in the knee before the Lord, our Maker, for He is our God, and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Come, Come let, let us worship you. God, wonderful, wonderful in, in the, the life of Saint Rose. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in the life of St. Rose. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, there are people who hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I saw in my young, 
they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship God, wonderful, wonderful in the life of Saint Thros. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let us worship God, wonderful, wonderful in, in the, the life of Saint Thros. Please be seated. The man whose deeds are blameless and whose heart is pure will climb the mountain of the Lord. The Lord is, is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is He who set in it on the seas, on the waters He made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in His holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who serves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors, let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in woe. O gates, lift up your hands, grow higher ancient doors, let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Praise the eternal King in all your deeds. Blessed be God who lives forever because his kingdom lasts for all ages. For his courageous and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Praise him, you Israelites, before the Gentiles. For though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Exalt him before every living being, because he is the Lord our God, our Father and God forever. He scourged you for your iniquities, but will again have mercy on you all. He will gather you from all the Gentiles among whom you have been scattered. When you turn back to Him with all your heart to do what is right before Him, then He will turn back to you and no longer hide His face from you. So now consider what He has done for you and praise Him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of the ages. In the land of my exile, I praise Him and show His power and majesty to a sinful nation. Turn back, you sinners, do the right before him. Perhaps he may look with favor upon you and show you mercy. As for me, I exalt my God, and my spirit rejoices in the King of heaven. Let all men speak of his majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The loyal heart must praise the Lord. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a ten-string lute sing Him songs. O sing Him a song that is new, play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world reviving him. He spoke and it came to be. He commanded, it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of the peoples. 
His own design shall stand forever, the plans of His heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people He has chosen as His own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, He sees all the children of men. From the place where He dwells, He gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In Him do our hearts find joy. We trust in His holy name. May Your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in You. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty God, giver of all good gifts, you poured out the dew of heavenly grace on St. Rose and made her radiant with humility, patience, and zeal for the good of her people. May we follow in her footsteps and so become the sweet fragrance of Christ in the world. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with Him, not to be shaken out of your minds suddenly, or to be alarmed either by a spirit or by an oral statement, or by a letter allegedly from us, to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. Let no one deceive you in any way. To this end, he has also called you through our gospel to possess the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you were taught either by an oral statement or by a letter of ours. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through his grace, encourage your hearts and strengthen them in every good deed and word. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and all the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Please stand. God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You pay tithes of mint and dill and come in and have neglected, neglected the weightier things of the law, judgment and mercy and fidelity. But this you should have done without neglecting the others. Blind guides who strain out the gnat and swallow the camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You cleanse the outside of cup and dish, but inside they are full of plunder and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee, cleanse first the inside of the cup so that the outside also may be clean. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa mga mahilig bumili sa online, na dengoy na ba kayo? Na yung ine-expect mo na dumating ay uh, na binili mo ay iba nung dumating. Maganda yung packaging, but once you opened it, no, uh, bakit ito lang? Uh, three weeks ago, I saw somebody from our community was complaining, bumili ng chime, yung tumutunog. Kala niya malaki. Dumating ganito. Kali, sabi ko, hindi mo kasi tinignan yung size. Hindi mo tinignan yung dimension. Sabi niya, eh, nakasabit naman sa puno nung, nung binibenta. So, I suppose it was big. No, ayan, na dengoy. Mga kabataan din ngayon, mahilig sa, sa tinatawag na Instagrammable. No, yun, uh, a place and then uh, a space. Uh, actually, is not that beautiful. But in the picture, once it is Instagrammable at nakapagpa-picture, kala mo napakaganda. Pag pinuntahan mo, yun lang. <laughs> Tapos sabihin mo, bakit pa ako nag-travel ng ganito kala kalayo? So how it is organized, how it is painted, how the picture was taken is much more important than the reality actually of the place. Maganda raw kasi sa picture, kaya pinuntahan. You know, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, we live in a time... Uh, when perception is given more importance than the reality. Perception is more importance than truth, no? To what can be perceived. We're not saying that perception is not important. It is. In our class, in our philosophy, everything begins with perception. Nakikita, naririnig, nahahawakan, naaamoy. Perception, no? But it doesn't end there. We don't have the, the entire reality if we simply end on perception. Sapagat nadadaya ang paningin, nadadaya yung pangamoy. Minsan narinig mo, akala ko narinig, hindi pala totoo. No? Nadadaya ang perception. That's why we are being asked to dig deeper, to research more, to analyze more, to look more intently so that we may arrive at the truth kung ano yung totoo. Again, we live in a in a time uh, wherein perception is more is given more importance. Sabi nga nung isang personality, no, perception is more important than reality because if someone perceives something to be true, it is more important than if it is actually the fact or the reality itself. Yung perception, sabi pa nga ng isang politiko, you know, perception is uh, there's too much importance given to truth, but perception is more important to truth because when people perceive a politician to be good, a politician to be honest, a priest to be good, a priest to be honest, the reality doesn't actually matter so much. You know, growing up in the seminary, when we were like this novices, mahilig ko kami maglaba ng abito. Uh, minsan nalilate kami sa klase namin and then our good professor one time uh, late na naman kami bakit ka na late? Eh, naglaba pa po, nagkula pa nagplansa pa At, and true enough, maputi nga yung mga habit and then he just smiled and then told us be wary 
And then remember always that the habit hides a multitude of defect. No? The habit hides a multitude of defect. In other words, what should be given more important is the one wearing the habit, not the habit itself. No? The one wearing the habit. In the gospel that we read today, that is the core of the message. The Pharisees and the scribes are giving more important to simple observance of things. The ruler, the numero, yung dapat sundin. And the Lord noticed that they have given more importance to that than to what is inside. And then he told them that be to be careful because that's actually what it means to be a hypocrite. And the Lord who sees the interior of man gives more importance to what is actually brewing deep within us, to what is actually happening in our minds right now, and what our heart is beating for at this very moment. My dear friends, our world will continue to have to give more importance to image, to perception, to how we construct the truth. But in the eyes of the Lord, who sees not only the outside, but more importantly, what is happening deep within us, what is brewing in our mind, we are always reminded in the gospel that we read today. What he sees in the inside ay yung mas mabigat at mas mahalaga. We will always be given, we will always give importance to what we see, what we hear, what we smell, and then what we feel. But the gospel would remind us that the Lord doesn't only see what is outside, but actually gives more importance to what is happening in the deepest recesses of our hearts, to our intentions, to our interest. Perception, yes, but the truth is more important than perception. Kindly all stand. Coming together as God's people, we present our needs before the Father, confident that He will grant our request. Let your response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be conscious of her responsibility to promote social justice by her ministry to the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government officials may be sincere in their effort to provide service and undertake programs for the poor and the destitute. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That employers and workers may be honest and respectful to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the disabled may find support and assurance from their families and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Bishops of the Philippines and for our brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Penafort, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have departed from this life may enjoy eternal happiness in the company of the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generous and sincere hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, accept our gifts of bread and wine on the feast of our sister, Rose. May we share in the sacrifice of the cross and deepen our love of Christ who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May call you therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, 
and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the wedding blood of Christ, we need to add the last
Please stand. To me, life is Christ and death is gain. I will boast in the cross of my Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has, he has raised, raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he saw to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, the, to Father, the Father and to the Son and to the, Son, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. As it was in the beginning, he is now and will be forever. Amen. To me, to me life, life is Christ, Christ and death, death is gain. I will, I will boast in the, the cross, cross of my Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Let us pray. Lord God, may this Eucharist renew our courage and strength. Like our sister Rose, may we remain close to you by accepting a share in the suffering of Jesus Christ. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 2, 2022. We invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to October 1, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please all stand. Before I give the final blessing, maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica, kahit na maulan, kahit na babagyo. Uh, kindly be safe out there. We continue to pray for one another. Uh, makakaasa po kayo ng patuloy na panalangin namin magmula dito sa Minor Basilica at para sa lahat ng diboto ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks Amen. be to God. We shall now say the prayer of blessing para po sa mga may sakit. At pagkatapos, we bless also your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious article, basbasan po natin ang mga yan. In memory of the miseries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.